Hey everyone, welcome to Thinkix Academy. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss Java versus Kotlin, right? So basically, I don't make these types of videos where where we are comparing two programming languages. But here, uh, I've got a lot of comments that you guys have requested that uh, you are actually facing some troubles in choosing one of these languages for the Android development task. So basically, I did decided to use my experience and everything so that you will be able to make a good decision here. So uh, first of all, I would like to say I have four years of experience in Android development. I have created a lots of apps. I have personally published it on the Google Play Store and uh, I have attended a lot of conferences and uh, including the JetBrains Java conference and some uh, Kotlin conferences also. So I have a basic in-depth knowledge of uh, both of these and basically I chose Java for the Android development and I will tell you in uh, later in this video why I chose that. So make sure to watch this video till the end because here we are going to uh, we're not going to compare these two programming languages. They both are efficient. They both have advantages and disadvantages. But what we are going to do is this video will help you uh, make a decision of what you should choose, right? So uh, first of all, I have told you my experience. So basically, I'm eligible to make these type this type of video uh, so that my experience will help you uh, make your decision much more better, right? So. The first thing is, uh, let's talk about Java first, right? So when I started uh, my Android development career, I started it four years ago, right? So I guess I started it in 2017 and 16, maybe. So four years ago, I started Android development uh, and I started it using Java. Now at that time, the Java programming language was the official programming language uh, for Android development by Google, right? So uh, at that time, here, four years ago, Java was the official language and Kotlin was not that much popular at that time. So uh, for Android development, a lot of developers have only one choice Java. So the decision making was uh, really very obvious. Now, uh, in the few years uh, ago, if you see, I guess three years or two years back, uh, this was changed to Kotlin. And now the, now the official language for Android development by Google is Android. Now, if you understand here, Java was the programming language which was used since the Android development started, right? So uh, since the Android started, all the developers were programming in Java. So it is a very old language, right? It is really old, older than Kotlin. And basically, this was the preferred programming language by most of the developers, right? Uh, so let's first talk. I'm, I'm trying to divide this video in two parts. In the first part, I will tell you which one is a better programming language uh, in terms of uh, the, the, the features that they're going to provide and then I will give you a practical approach so that you can actually filter out that okay I will need Java for my personal preferences or Kotlin so that will help you in decision making also now when Kotlin was introduced Kotlin has a lot of intuitive features that will that made a lot of developers and even some uh, big companies to shift their code from Java to Kotlin, right? So I'm talking about Android development only here. So what were the reasons, right? Why the developers chose to move to Kotlin? There were several reasons. The first reason was, if you develop an app in uh, Kotlin using Android, that code can also be used to create an iOS app and even in web development right so this was actually a very important thing because you write your code once in a single place and you will be able to make sure that code is also available for ios and even in web development right so that's something very cool here now 
Java had a lot of problems with something known as uh, null pointer exceptions. Right, so I'm going to write NPE, which is the null pointer exceptions. In Kotlin, the syntax was changed such that uh, it will handle this null pointer exception automatically. Then some features uh, were included in Kotlin that made it much more better. For example, Kotlin coroutines, etc. That these were the things that made some developers to rebase their code from Java to Kotlin. One most important thing was the code size. So let's suppose, right? So let's suppose you wrote hundred lines of code in Java for a particular application, you can actually write the same code in let's say approximately 70 lines or maybe 60 lines, right? So that was one important thing that here uh, the Kotlin actually reduced the size and there were a lot of companies who actually uh, said that because of this thing, they were able to make the app sizes shorter, right? So the app sizes become less. Now, what will what is the actual use of app size? Even if the app size is greater, is it going to impact the user acquisition? Right. So here I'm going to write in red marker that this particular feature will impact the user registration. So user acquisition. Right, so here user acquisition it was observed that if the app size is lesser there are more users that will come if the app size is more then the users are actually going to uh, the user acquisition will be at a lower rate and uh, that's why a lot of people chose Kotlin over Java right this is the theoretical uh, part right which is actually holds true now the question comes, if today I want to start Android development, which programming language will I choose? Java or Kotlin, right? So the obvious answer that I will say is Java. Why? Because there are a lot of practical reasons that I will uh, share with you. The first thing is there are so many enterprise companies, right? For example, just take an example of Amazon. And there are various companies that create enterprise web applications and these companies are really huge and they use Java for this purpose, right? So they use a lot of frameworks like Spring Framework and a lot of frameworks and they use their Java code to implement a lot of things, right? So uh, the Java developer roles, the jobs for Java is higher in market compared to Kotlin. And that's true because Kotlin has not yet reached in a lot of companies. It has been, the adoption rate is not that much high and the support for Java in Android development in Stack Overflow and in all other forums is much more. The second thing is, uh, as I've told that practical approach, if you will see, you, if you know Java, you can actually uh, learn Android development if you will learn Android development, what will happen is you are automatically making your Java skills stronger. And now since your Java skills are stronger, you can actually apply for these companies and you can actually add Android development in the resume of these companies. If you learn Java, you will be able to do a lot of things. So uh, that's all for this tutorial. If you have liked my efforts, please make sure to subscribe this channel. I'll keep making more videos like these on your request. So, uh, so thanks for watching.